If like me, you're passionate about gardening and growing your own food, winter can be a very challenging time, especially if you live in a cold climate with sub-zero temperatures and lots of snow. Fortunately, over the years, I've found a number of ways to get my gardening fix even during the winter months. None of these ways are quite as satisfying as a summer garden, but they help tide me over at least until the spring. Ever since reading Elliot Coleman's Four Season Harvest several years ago, I've been growing cold hardy crops into the late fall and winter in unheated cold frames and polytunnels. Granted, it's more of a challenge to grow and harvest crops in the winter, and the yield and variety aren't what they are in the summer. But the winter garden keeps me in the game, and the fresh greens are so nice to have in the winter. In addition to the fall and winter harvest, the protection provided by the cold frames also allows me to plant some crops much earlier than I could otherwise. For example, I'll be planting kale and collard greens for the spring in a cold frame later this month in the dead of winter. In the past, we only used the grow room to start seedlings for the spring. Of course, it's a great feeling to see those seedlings emerge and grow until they're ready to be transplanted into the garden. In addition to starting seedlings, this year we're going to overwinter some perennial veggies that wouldn't survive the winter outdoors. Specifically, we're overwintering nine pepper plants and 11 malabar spinach plants and our three tree collards, which are just getting started from cuttings. One of the many things I like about vermicomposting is that it allows me to continue composting during the winter. If I were to add kitchen scraps to our outdoor compost bins this time of year, they'd be frozen in no time at all and wouldn't start breaking down until the spring. But with our worm bins, we can actively compost year-round and the worm castings can't be beat when it comes to improving soil fertility. Every time I feed the worms, I feel like I'm making an investment in the future of our garden and in ourselves. Every winter, I have at least a few additional projects to help me get my gardening fix. I still have one worm bin that I haven't converted to a flow-through design. I'll also be building a new cold frame in the next few weeks. But my biggest winter gardening project this year is getting my 2014 biochar field trial started. To have enough biochar for the field trial, I have to make at least one batch of biochar per week for the next three or four months. One of my favorite winter pastimes is to plan for the spring and summer garden. I map out the garden layout on my computer, browse the seed catalogs for ideas on what new veggies to grow. I order the new seeds and anxiously await their arrival. And of course, unboxing the new seeds is always a special occasion. How's it going? We're chatting to Sean from Sean's And finally, uh, YouTube gardening videos are a big help in getting me through the winter months. I find it especially helpful to watch videos from gardeners in warmer climates. Watching Rob Bob in Australia, where the summer is just getting started, can sometimes help me forget, for at least a few minutes, about this. And the fact the forecast calls for a high of negative 12 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. Yes, I did say a high of negative 12 degrees. Well, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. And until next time, remember, you can change the world one yard at a time.